Right, welcome back. Pretty excited to talk about this video as well. Uh, a million dollar question, which cloud provider or which cloud platform should I learn in order to crack interviews or in order to get chances of me getting better than other DevOps uh, becomes really easy. Now, if somebody is giving answer to this question, I bet that's, that's, that's just not possible because to give an yes or no answer or one word answer to this particular question is really not uh, easy or possible. I'll tell you why. First of all, all the crowd provider has got their own problem to solve. All right. So in this session over the next five, seven minutes, as always, I'm going to keep it really small and uh, squeezed out in. Um, what I'm going to talk about is if you're confused, which cloud provider to select for your pro particular project or startup, uh, how you could just make decision. First thing first, Azure. Now this is the second most used cloud provider all over the globe after AWS. When should you consider Azure? Now Azure is very enterprisey. It's a very, very, very proprietary product tool. Uh, what, do, what do I mean by that? Now if you have Active Directory, if you have .NET application which needs to be deployed, if you have O365, if you have uh, any Microsoft specific tool, Azure is the best bet for you. If your company is very enterprisey and process oriented and uh, uh, talks a lot about billing uh, and .NET services, Azure is the tool for you. If you have already got Windows uh, systems uh, laid down on your infrastructure, if you think that uh, many of the Windows services or .NET services are gonna come, come into the picture, Azure is the best bet for you. However, if you're more around data oriented, big data, Kubernetes, uh, you want to process some data, you want to use Hadoop, big data, Spark uh, and whatnot, go ahead and blindly choose uh, Google uh, Cloud Platform. I'll tell you why. My rationale is Google has built system based on their expertise, which is search engine, which is ultimately collecting a lot of data and churning out and producing it in front of us. So naturally, Google become really, really, uh, it, it elevates their standard when it comes to hosting any data solutions. So if you, if you would like to use any data solutions from uh, GCP or any of the cloud platform, uh, I can bet Google cloud platform would be, would stand out of all of them. So big data, Hadoop, um, all of the structure data solutions, go ahead and use Google Cloud. If you're a proponent of open source and you like what Google has done into uh, Google Apps for Work or G Suite wherein it introduced a lot of AI and ML stuff, uh, you could go ahead and use Google Cloud. So if you're not enterprisey and it's, it's more around data oriented, uh, as I mentioned, big data, Hadoop, Spark, Databricks, go ahead and use uh, Google Cloud Platform. Uh, also, Google has been inventor of a lot of uh, CNCF projects like Kubernetes um, and many of the other fundamentals. Uh, so containers, microservices also uh, plays a big role by GCP. So uh, it has to be data, has to be on GCP. The third one, AWS. Now, AWS has, uh, again, learned from uh, hosting their services, uh, their their uh, internal uh, web services or marketplace their own application Amazon uh, on uh, they've learned by doing it their own way so it, it's the leading platform uh, it's one of the most simplest platform or UI I have seen so if you don't have any filters for enterprise and you don't have any data requirement also go ahead and use AWS if you don't understand anything go ahead and use uh, AWS because uh, AWS, I, I guess, has got the maximum services offerings. They provide majority of the services which any cloud provider can uh, provide you. Uh, the partner ecosystem is huge. You land into your market, you land your feet in the market, you'll get many partners who can assist you with AWS. The support for AWS in the community is humongously uh, big. Uh, because they, since it's the oldest cloud platform, uh, people who are actually using it from past many decades are well aware and they're helping community. They're posting questions, they're posting answers. People are getting certified every day. So the community for AWS is really big. So if you don't understand 
which one to go go ahead and use for AWS plus plus it's a it's a money driven business right you can get a lot of free credits I've personally used it uh, there has been a lot of times when I have uh, uh, when I have requested AWS folks to um, remove my billings or late fees and they, they have done it without no question any of the single question being asked so um, it's lightweighted its community support is huge so if you're looking for community support um, go ahead and use AWS I hope uh, this might have just clarified things a little uh, now th there's no single answer for any of your uh, uh, for this type of generic question if somebody is giving you a generic answer it's just uh, trying to uh, bullshitting around so uh, don't uh, fall prey into those discussions where this cloud provider is good or this provider provider is bad it's completely based on your custom requirement your business needs as you mentioned if you're if it's more enterprise and dotnet oriented program which you're going to run go ahead and use uh, azure if you've already got uh, ad exchange or o365 go ahead and use azure if you have uh, data requirement for big data hadoop spark go ahead and use google cloud if you don't understand and uh, want to pick a cloud provider which has got huge community support go ahead and pick up aws i hope this was informative thank you